How you before I get started? Y'all know I do it. This your boy Big Pistol. Y'all know I do it. I have some of my mind share with y'all about the use of everyday life. But for, for the first thing you go do, go with that pistol merch, you see it? That's me, nigga. In the 90s. Before the rap shit, you see the chain, the jury. Been ball shit, you know what I'm saying? Been on some ball shit, but you know, young nigga. Barely, barely 20, probably about 19 in that picture. But what I'm gonna say is, a hundred thousand. The key word, a hundred thousand. Let me explain something to y'all. It's some people around you, your mama, your grandmama, your daddy, your uncle, your cousin, ain't never seen a hundred thousand dead in their life. Some people go die without seeing a hundred thousand thousand in their life. It's some rappers that you look up to, probably never had a hundred thousand one time in their life. There's some drug dealers that you see on the block every day selling drugs for years. Ain't never seen a hundred thousand in their life. Had a hundred thousand possessed in their hands at one time. Hundred thousand might not sound like a big number, but it's a big number to a lot of people. To some people, it's nothing. So imagine being in the hood and not ever knowing that you'll ever see a hundred thousand in your life. You dropped out of school. You can't read and write. You can't play football. You can't play basketball. You ain't athletic. So you can't get a high-paced job because you can't go to school because you ain't reading right. You can't graduate to get a six-figure job. You ain't a, what else, what, 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 come on now, an entrepreneur. Don't nobody have ways of getting 100000 You'll be surprised. Ask a couple of your friends, hey, man, if you had the opportunity right now to make 100000 what would be your route to 100000 How would you make 100000 some nigga sat there and be like, I don't know. You'd be surprised that people don't know how to get to 100,000. They don't know what they can do to get to 100,000. Me, I got millions of ways to get to 100,000. I write a book. Book might take off 700,000. Put out an album, might make me 100,000. Uh, write a TV script, sell that motherfucker, make me 100,000. Go on Amazon and sell product, make me 100,000. Serve merchant that merchandise, make me 100,000. Like, a real logistic ways of making 100000 Think about it. Y'all mamas got jobs. Some of y'all got jobs that probably make fifty, sixty, seventy thousand. 60000 Some of y'all might have a job make 100000 but you never saw 100000 in cash. Yeah, we like, damn, P, what's up with this 100000 I'm going to tell you the big part is 100000 Why I'm talking about this 100000 Think about it. A lot of y'all got jobs, and the most y'all might see one time, it's six, seven, eight, nine thousand from the income taxes. Count, uh, you know, signing your kids off, claiming your kids. You won't see that much. So imagine being in the hood and knowing you can't see a hundred thousand. Everybody ain't no rapper. They can't be Lil Baby, get a hundred thousand to show. They can't be LeBron, get a couple hundred thousand to game. Everybody will never see that. So for you niggas out there, you rappers, they come to these hoods wearing hundreds of thousands worth of jewelry. You become the opportunity. You the way to 100,000 for a lot of these broke niggas. They baby mama complaining. They live with their mama. They mama tell them to go get, get a job. They own dope. They high. They fucked up. They don't know how to go eat. They don't know how to go survive. They can't go out and do a TV deal or a movie deal. Or manage a rapper. They don't know how to get no money. Why you see like these old gangsters doing podcasts? They try to get to 100000 Or more. That's why you see these old gangsters and shit trying to put out documentaries. They trying to get the money to make selling drugs. People trying to get to their 100000 But you niggas come to the hood like P&B. You was a blessing to a robber. You got on 500000 worth of jewelry. He know any dope man gonna give him a hundred thousand. He know what it's saw. Use his ticket to a hundred thousand. Use his lotto ticket. Use his draft. Like getting drafted in the pros. Use him get signed as a rapper. Use his blessing. And we all know the devil gives blessings. But to him, he thought the blessing for God. When you came in the hood, all that jury on that nigga, like, oh my God, God is good. This nigga came here with all this shit on. He had no idea how you gonna get out the hood. 
These niggas want to leave the hood. They had no opportunities to get out the hood. They don't know how to rap. They don't know how to sing. They don't know how to act. They don't know how to play sports. When you niggas come in the hood with that juro, you're their way out. That's why they call it crab in the bucket. Because you're a crab who made it out. But they go grab you, nigga, and pull you down. So they can come up. Give me a nigga. Give me that. He never see the opportunity. Use an opportunity. So anytime you put that jewel on, yeah, you can be who you want to be. Yeah, you ain't got to be scared. A lot of y'all didn't tell me, I should be the word I want to wear. Nigga, you ain't in heaven. No, you can't wear the fuck you want to wear. Not in, this, not, in, not in a world where it's dictated by evil. Evil motherfucker that's looking to rob you and kill you for what you got. Yeah, you can wear it. But it's opportunity, most likely, your life going to be on the line when you put that shit on. Y'all niggas just see this shining, flossing, and showing, hey, it makes me motivation. No, it's not motivation for a nigga. That's not helping him seeing you in jewelry. What's going to help him having that jewelry in his pocket? He can make some money off of it. Instead of y'all niggas walking in the hood out his jewelry on to show motherfuckers you rich, take that same money that what that jewelry costs and spend it in the hood. That way they benefit from it. Just seeing you that shit on, don't, don't make them shit. They need food to make them shit. Seeing you that shit on, don't quench their thirst. They need something to drink. So give them niggas something to drink. Give them niggas some food. Give them shelter. Seeing you in that jury ain't gonna put no roof over their head. Seeing you in it. But guess what? Taking that jury from you will put a roof over their head. You can change them niggas' lives. When y'all put that jury on, just imagine, tell yourself, I got enough on to change a nigga life. I got enough jewelry on to change a broke nigga life. You think that broke nigga gonna take that opportunity? He can't play ball. He been in the hood. He watched his homeboy play ball and go to pros and make millions and lead the hood. He watched a nigga in the neighborhood spit a, a good rap on a microphone and get rich and lead the hood. He watched a couple of nerds in the hood get smart, go to college and get PhDs and make six or seven figures and leave the hood. He's stuck in the hood. He can't leave the hood. He ain't got no opportunities. He can't read right. He don't got no talent. He ain't athletic. But guess what? Use his opportunity the day you walk in all that jewelry. Use way out the hood. Guess what he's going to do? He's going to get his baby mama car, get them somewhere to live, get him out the hood. He can sit back on the couch, kick his feet up, and let his toes twirl while he eat that steak sandwich or that hamburger and them fries, nigga. That's what, we, that's what niggas do to get a good life, nigga. Sit back on the couch and keep their feet up, let their toes twirl, nigga, while he eat that good meal. He can't do that shit in the hood. He fucked up. You can't do the hood. You his way out. So anytime y'all put that jewel on and bring y'all ass in the hood, look at yourself as an opportunity for a broke nigga to be something, to have something. What's walking in the hood with all that shit on go do to a nigga in the hood? That's not motivation. This is motivation to certain niggas, but everybody ain't thinking like that. Because they ain't got no high. What's motivation to me if I ain't got no talent? What's motivation to me if I ain't athletic? I know I'm going to be like my dad and work in a warehouse and die old. Because that's all he know. That's all he saw. His daddy died like that. So think about it. When you wear that jewelry, you wear that shit, niggas are priced to come out and wear that shit. You gonna be a you gonna be a walking lotto ticket. You gonna be a walking opportunity to somebody who can't find a way out. You just gave them a way out. That's why they kill you for that shit. That's why I say in order to survive, you gotta understand how these evil motherfuckers think. Quit thinking how logical, good thinking people think. Good, logical, good thinking people like, man, that's that man jewelry. Work hard for that man. Let that man enjoy himself. That's not how logical good people think. I mean, evil people think. They think like, man, fuck that nigga. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Man, that nigga way out. Man, I can feed my little girl. Man, I, I can put my kids through school. I can have my kid living better. I can start buying shit for Christmas for my family. Man, you can change it. Now, y'all niggas wearing shit to change niggas' lives. So why won't they take your life to change their lives? Think about it. You walking around with some shit that could change your motherfucking life, nigga. And them niggas gonna take every opportunity to take it. Why not? They don't want to die in the hood, bro. They don't have no way out. You're their way out. 
Oh, y'all. When you that children on this thing, use a walking blessing, an opportunity for a broke nigga to come up. And ask yourself, why wouldn't he take that opportunity? Where else he gonna get it? Who else will come in the hood with a million dollar rubber jewelry on besides my dumb ass? He'll never get to rob Bill Gates. Mark Zuckerberg, nothing rich, my Oprah, none of more. They ain't coming in the hood. If they do, they come in here with their arm with the guards and shit. And that's how you niggas need to come in there, motherfucker. Make that nigga want to see his opportunity and see you as an opportunity to a casket, nigga. And that'll change his mind because he'd love to live. But he'll take an easy lick any day. Love y'all, peace.